My name is Ivan D'Souza and I am giving you this testimony of healing of my son Alistair. All praise and glory to Jesus for coming into our lives in such an immaculate, wonderful and magnificent way. For showing to us the magnitude of His glory and the powers that He has over everything my son Alistair was born a very perfect child in the year 2006. When he was about a year and a half, he developed a sickness. It was more like a viral fever where he began to develop kind of uh, chest congestion and over a period of time started vomiting a lot. The pediatrician that we consulted the medication that he prescribed was probably given to Alistair but the vomiting would not stop. Over a period of a month Alistair had lost weight considerably and his weight had dropped by almost one and a half kilos. That is when we consulted another pediatrician and he was able to stop the vomiting and bring Alistair's fever levels also down and bring him to normalcy. After a period of three months, we began to notice that Alistair was very weak. He was, he would not wake, get up from the bed. His capabilities to walk and talk had deteriorated a lot. His eyesight was squint. Uh, whenever he looked at us, it was a very tired look. My wife's name is Coral. And both of us were very worried over a period of time just wa watching Alistair in that state. We did not know what had happened to him. So we went and consulted a specialist pediatrician who asked us to take him to a neurologist. And we were very worried when we, was, when we were asked to take him to a neurologist like anybody can imagine taking a child who is not even two years old to a neurologist just wondering what the illness must be. We waited for about two weeks before we dropped the courage to take him to the neurologist and having gone over there, the doctor checked him out and asked for us to take an MRI scan of Alistair's brain. When we asked him why, what were his doubts, the doctor just told us saying that, you know, we, I cannot tell you without getting all the reports. After a week, we took Alistair to, for the MRI. And when we took him over there, we, I just prayed to Jesus and said, Lord, my son is so small. Just bless him and protect him. Praise God, all the reports that came after the MRI scan were absolutely clear. We took those reports and went back to the doctor and he, having looked at all everything and evaluated Alistair's condition, came to the conclusion that Alistair was suffering from a case that is called cerebellitis ataxia. Now cerebellitis ataxia is a case that occurs in one in a million children. Now this case is totally irreversible. The child can come back to normalcy in a period of three to five years. Now there is no fixture or particular treatment. Even medical research has not found out a remedy for cerebellitis ataxia. There, there's no particular medication also that supports or prevents this disease. It is just one of those things that happen. So we duly started uh, Alistair's program. We, when we went down to India, we took him to one of the, the best um, neurologists uh, in Bombay. And his, uh, having checked Alistair out, he was able to come up with the same conclusion. And he recommended that we take Alistair for physiotherapy because by that time Alistair had totally lost the capability of walking. Please remember that Alistair was born as a normal child. He was walking, he was talking like any other child at that, at that age. When we went down to Belgaum, that's the town from where I am, we went to the KLE hospital and consulted another neurologist for a second opinion and came to the same conclusion that Al Alistair was suffering from cerebellitis ataxia. Now, cerebellitis ataxia is when the antibodies within our body 
attack the cerebrum that's at the back of the head and this this results in a deficiency in uh, muscle tone in the way our muscles react to different uh, kind of situations over a period of a month and a half we properly followed all the all the physiotherapy that was required for us to do and then we came back to dubai it was in the year 2009 on the 11th of november which also happens to be my daughter's birthday uh, we, we were not in the mood of celebration actually because alistair like you know we used to feel so bad coming home just watching him lying on the bed limited movement always a tired look although he would play with his toys he would not get up from the bed we were always worried that if he walked or came down on the floor he would uh, just uh, slip and hurt himself so we were always so protective of him i mean my wife or i were always around him at that point of time when we noticed that alistair was not really developing well my wife decided to give up her good job where she was working and was at home with alistair to take care of him that's what we decided i mean it economically it was a strain for us mentally it was a strain for us and you know overall we were just so tired back to the story of the 11th of november of liz who works in the church and who's a very prominent member of the prayer group through another friend of ours by the name of rosetta who's now residing in qatar told us about this prayer meeting that was being held in dubai and was being held by a by a lay minister by the name of brother johnson sequera i come from a very devout family a catholic family my mother was and sisters have been in the prayer group so have i my my third sister is a nun and we always were instructed at home and by the the priest who were who always told us about our faith to be a bit careful about lay ministers especially of the jova witnesses and several other organizations who work against the church my first concern was to know that brother johnson was a catholic preacher the moment i was it was told to me that brother johnson was a catholic preacher i agreed to go <coughs> my friend edwin dies came and collected us the alistair and me and we went to this place in karama i was very surprised that a prayer meeting was being held in a warehouse and the moment that I, i entered in i saw this man of a very calm look a very composed look a very general looking person holding his hands up in the air and screaming at the top of his voice that he loves and praises god over a period of time i was so caught up on the words that came out of his mouth they were very captivating and very inspiring and i just began to understand the faith this person had this person i'm talking about his brother johnson sequera after a short while brother johnson thought it was time to have the healing service and just before the healing service he decided that it was he would pray that all the evil spirits and all that was evil present in the room present in the congregation the disturbances should all leave that room and everybody including brother johnson bowed their head in silence and he began to pray at that point of time i noticed that alistair was getting very unruly and he was totally not in place where he was he began to scratch the back of my head he started to bite my neck and i just could not hold him i mean just imagine the child is only 2 and 1/2 years old but he was i was finding it difficult to control him i held him tight in my arms trying to control his head because he began to bang his head against my head and i was worried that he would hurt himself so i took him outside and i tried to calm him down and the moment i took him outside he was he began to calm down and every attempt i made to take him back into the hall he would again begin what he was doing like scratching my face and pulling my ears and tugging at my uh, collar and all those things at the end as i noticed that brother johnson was nearing the end of the prayer for the protection and relieving of the area of all evil spirits i just got alistair so tight 
Nesak 